Welcome back, Forex fans. This is Rob the Forex Explorer, and I'm here again with John Shavers at the gates. This is like a prologue to my Let's Play because I wanted to kind of preview what's likely going to be the very uh, last update, the last build before version 1.0. And what well, I guess it has to be because we are at version 0.9.9, .9, which means there have been seven version changes since I last had my last Let's Play episode. I, I was actually not downloading any of the uh, the new updates because they were breaking my save games so I didn't and now there's been seven revisions and a lot of them have been in regards to the UI and a lot and now you can if you can see even maybe hopefully you can notice the font changed actually too and every time you mouse over something it's pretty cool you can see now the uh, keyboard shortcuts so a lot of good stuff there's a lot of UI fixes a lot of UI changes and you're going to see a couple right off the bat, uh, other than the the nice font change, there's going to be a new clan screen. Whereas before, each clan would have its various traits listed out in a screen like this. But it was wild because sometimes some of these, these traits were, you know, there's a lot more to some of these traits than others. So this box would be differently shaped, different sized each time a new clan pulled up. Now all you have to do is just mouse over this and see what's going on. So this is actually a great little clan here. We're going to go to our next clan, Impatient. So that means they're increased by half is at least. So that's, uh, is that, I can't tell if that's good or not. Hold on a second. So training time increased by half if at least three turns. Oh, so yeah, if it's, if for some reason you're training somebody, this guy and their, their training time is five turns, then it would, uh, then become seven and a half turns that would suck so and they their likelihood of having desires doubled intimidating but anyways this new screen is great i think it's a lot more clean um yeah and i just i really like the new font change as well let's take a look at the new profession list so obviously this is much cleaner it looks a lot better again all these are mostly ui and like polish changes so i'm really digging it we'll just show more Oh, okay, cool. So you can go back to that. All right, show all. Wow. All right, I didn't even know you could do that. In fact, I'm not sure you could before. So look at all these. You can do men at arms later. I've done. I did men at arms earlier in my uh, last game. I ended up getting a couple of men at arms and and taking out some bandit camps. But knights. I've never actually built knights. Clerics. I wonder what they do. Produce a massive amount of knowledge. Nice. So that's pretty cool. You can actually see all these now. Go ahead and show less, and we'll come back and do my discovery, which is usually my first choice. Uh, we're going to train our clan. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, so now there's produce treasure. Treasure. When you give your settlement this command, it will produce plus five treasure this turn. However, in turn, you won't be able to train a clan in professional discipline. This should generally be avoided, as training clans is very important in developing your economy. For sure. But this is great, because now when there is nothing else to do, I love being able to produce treasure. <laughs> so that's great. Great change. All right, we're negative one food off the bat. So let's get this guy here since he's a sullen little bastard. Uh, let's go ahead and he will refuse to attack enemy armies. So let's go ahead and train him in agriculture and we'll get him hopefully getting us some, we'll bring him down to get some bees honey there. And something else I've noticed, turn times are just ever so slightly faster, so there's some optimization going on there, which is great. I'm going to go ahead and let's see what he's got. I've got, he's afraid of water and he's rowdy, so if he is on the same tile as another, he might start a feud. Let's go ahead and train him in Discovery and then train him as an Explorer. All right, and get him out of there ASAP. All right, so we know that he's come. But yeah, so the, the main changes really are the UI. I really want to show you the new caravan screen. So I'm going to play until the new caravan screen, and then I will uh, probably wrap this up. I just want to show you some of the changes. It's been, uh, it's been fun to watch this game evolve over the past month or so because, like I said, the, the patches have come in, been coming in hot, and... A lot of them have done nothing but make the game better, which is a huge, huge sigh of relief for me. 
um, because I just wanted the game to be better in general. So um, let's actually go to agriculture this time, and we'll increase that other guy's level. Now, what I think is great about this game is that I really believe the the art style is a bit timeless. It really is. Because I, I just, there's nothing that really dates about watercolor look like this. So, I, I mean, I just could, I can imagine this game having some legs because of, of the art style. Because I just don't see myself ever getting tired of looking at this. And there's just so much you can do with this. I really hope John sells, this game sells well and John's able to continue working on it. Because I really think this game could be just one of the all-time greats. I really believe that. And I'm hoping that with some some more time with it, that, you know, adding more features, more content, that it really could be that game. So let's train him as a gatherer. Or should I train him as a reaper since this one's here? Field of wheat. Uh, and there's this guy here that I don't want to mess with too much. Maybe as a gatherer he can identify this. And hopefully it'll be something that I can eat. But there's some wheat here too, so... Let's go ahead and change that. Cancel that. Change profession to Reaper. And we'll make him reap this to get some food going. New clan is ch uh, joined. And it's one ugly ass clan. Bow legged. So they one one negative one move point and attentive. Which means they have less time needed to identify unidentified deposits. So that's actually really good for a surveyor. It sucks that they're bow legged because. They won't be able to move as far, but the attentive is su certainly something that would help with our surveying. So we're going to probably make that person surveyor. If I continued this game, but I'm not going to. I'm just showing off some of the stuff. I really just want to keep playing until the caravan menu because I I was complaining about the caravan menu. I want to I want to show you the new change to it. It looks great. So uh, let's go ahead and go ahead and do the surveyor so that when the the caravan gets here, we can go ahead and build one. Move him over here. See what's going on over there. You've met Crocus of the Alemanni already, huh? If you know what's good for you, you'll be you'll offer me a token of your appreciation. Uh, I do know what's good for me, and I'm likely going to give you some treasure, even though it reduces my reputation. My global reputation, it does help with my repu my influence with these guys. I'm just going to do it. So a couple new additions. That's something that's been in the game, but I every time I've ever met a another clan while I've been playing this game on a Let's Play, you haven't seen those options. Now they're almost every time, so that's great. Um, let's see what else I can do. I can still only do very little. That's something he's really going to work on. I've, I've begged, pleaded, told him that I will cry into my bed every night and cry into my pillow every night if it doesn't get fixed uh that the, the diplomacy is worked on he's he's really he's very eager to get that worked on asap so let's go ahead and train and discipline this guy let's make sure there's nothing that would be crazy no other clans no other clans on the tile may commit crimes never engages in feuds Ooh, he should stay here this would be great if he's here, then no clans on the tile will ever commit crimes. However, what about him? So he's always going to be a life uh, a livestock guy. So unfortunately, I'll probably go ahead and... I'll go ahead and train him in crafting so that I can get him to start gaining some timber. But I might bring him back to the city. I would might possibly bring him back to the encampment in order to avoid having feuds or crimes. Clan Hassel has joined. They're perceptive and lazy. Lazy being one move, negative one move point, and one turn to train. Suckers. And plus one vision range. All right, they have nothing to save because they suck. But let's go ahead and oh, and the other thing is all the art have been at all the art has been added, so there's no present boxes anymore. Um, I'm going to move this. I'm going to go ahead and pack them up and move them down here, probably. 
so that I can be close to the water and because because I want to. <laughs> For, just because I want to. Move them over here. Actually, you know what? I'll bring them. Wow, look at that. That is the f biggest field of wheat I've ever seen in my life. That's awesome. Bring him down here. See what's going on down there. A caravan has arrived. Great. So this will probably be the end of this episode. I really did want to show you everything, but look at this. It's so much better and cleaner now. What you really need to realize is, or focus on, are when they're yellow. So yellow means that there's a featured item. In this case, it's this caravan is selling honey. And this one's also, I mean, it's also selling fish. And it's also, I guess, you would, so this is something else. You would, you would gain an additional eight gold for selling steel and an additional four for stealing, or stealing, <laughs> selling armor. So now when things are in gold, it's very quickly, easily identified to, uh, to be something that you really want to focus on. Maybe because it's something that they don't normally carry or because your profits are going to be super high. So, yes, I like that a lot. All right, so we got five tools. We're going to buy all five. But yeah, uh, great little UI change. It's pretty minor in the grand scheme of things, but it really helps. Ooh, geez. There's a lot of, I guess this is probably another clan. I don't think so. They're neutrals. All right. So... Yeah, wow. All right. Um, but yeah, so that's that's the gist of it. There's so many things, so many little things too. Uh, like I said, a lot of UI fixes, a lot of menu changes, and the, the font was a big thing. All the art's been added, so there is no more present boxes, which is a big thing. Um, and the game's just shaping up. I, I'm, really, I'm, I'm just really excited to see where this game goes. I hope it sells well, because if it sells well, I would see it being expanded upon. Uh, whether it's DLC or a full-blown expansion, but it seems like John has really found his passion for it again, and understandably because he's finally going to be finishing it after seven years, and it's really shaped up into a product that I enjoy quite thoroughly, and that's saying something because for a long time, the name John Schaefer to me was like a curse word. So if I can enjoy this game, even despite my reservations and despite the fact that I genuinely disliked John there for a while not knowing all the stuff that was going on clearly I had no idea that he was having like a mental breakdown and you know all the stuff that he had talked about in his last blog I had no idea that was going on so in my mind I'd spent $50 on a game that I couldn't play and was super excited about because it was a really great premise and 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 the result of that was that I just got mad at John but I mean, honestly, I'm letting go of all that because the game's finished. The game, as it is right now, is fun. It could be even better with diplomacy, some additional stuff, some additional content, better, more clans, just like all this other stuff that you could add to this game that would just make it infinitely replayable that I really hope to see. And so I'm hoping this game sells really well. But I'm glad you guys have taken this journey with me. Thank you so much. Like I said... If you have any questions regarding this game, I have played now almost 25, 30 hours of this game. I've got like four consecutive games going on right now because I've got different version numbers that I'm playing. And I really am just learning things. I'm trying different things each time. And if they start to fail, I just quit and start all over. So it's been a lot of fun learning this game as it is a deep game. There's a lot going on. There are a lot of professions. There's a lot of economy concerns and considerations that you just have to really focus on and and I, I just I really like it so I think what would be great to see in the future is yes the diplomacy but also you know some other features that may um, that may kind of flesh out the game a bit more like I said some more content would be great maybe more clans um, Beyond that, maybe other professions, especially if you start to, to to flesh out the diplomacy, clearly there would be need for some maybe like diplomat professions and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. Let me go. It's been it's going to be a week, a week from the time this goes out where you guys get your hands on it and start playing it and start seeing what it's all about. 
I'm really interested in hearing what you guys think about. And in the meantime, stay tuned for my full review, my full written review on the 23rd of January for At The Gates at theforexplorer.net, which is my blog. Until the next time, and I've got some good stuff coming up, so stay tuned. But until then, thanks for watching. Keep exploring, guys.